Well, it's been a while. Uh, I've been doing silly stuff like uh, making lots of graphene. And when I say lots, I mean tonnage. Uh, I had to go out of the country. I had to do this. I had to do that, do some talks, do some this and doing that. So it is what it is. But I have something that everyone's going to be excited about. So this is a typical Panasonic uh, 1800 milliamp hour cell uh, lithium. Uh, and this came from a company that we deal with. And we had already gotten some 50-50 uh, cells uh, where instead of in lithium ion batteries, if you know the, uh, if I remember right, uh, one side is going to be an activated carbon and then the other side is going to be uh, the electrolyte with a graphite mixture usually uh, or, or another activated carbon type material. But the, the one activated carbon is a paper type material and then the other side is a powder form mixed with the electrolyte. Uh, in this case it is a graphite type material. Uh, it's an 1800 milliamp hour Panasonic style cell, um, and well, I say Panasonic style because actually these get supplied to Panasonic. You can find them on eBay for four dollars a piece or something like that. But this is where the fun comes in. Do 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 do. This I I haven't even opened this one yet. That is a real live 100% graphene cell. Uh, it's mostly single layer material that is inter intercalated with the uh, electrolyte. Um, I already know some of the data on the 50-50. The 50-50s, okay, where we put 50% graphene and 50% graphite in the material, the 1800 uh, milliamp hour cell went to 3180 31, milliamp hours, if I remember right. That's what they were averaging, uh, and by that I mean averaging. They were very, very close uh, over and over and over again. Um, this cell should be in the 36 to 3800 milliamp hour uh, category. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, um, and we're redoing some of the tests as well because we have found, Ironically, in our tests, that there was a uh, little bit of iron, and if you get up past six parts per million in iron, and our raw graphite had a little bit uh, right around there, uh, it will cause a little bit of shorting, well, self-discharge actually is what it does, and it doesn't really lend well to um, batteries. But now we have figured out, we've gotten the iron situation ironed out, <laughs> and so these cells are on the way. Um, basically, we're talking, we haven't done enough data, but it should be between 36 and 3800 should be the rating. Um, they take a tremendous amount of juice in and out. Uh, their discharge and recharge capacity uh, abilities are far beyond what these are. We're talking seconds to minutes. Um, the the fifty fifties were our potential stat. The little potential stat down there. We actually couldn't even charge and discharge it fast enough uh, to to get good readings. Um, the, the battery was more capable of uh, retaining it. I think it's, uh, they're called C's. Uh, if you're a battery person, you hear me stammering and being an idiot, you'll know some of these words. Uh, they say a C, which is some kind of, uh, is the, it's not coulombs, like, not the same thing, but the batteries normally will take a, like, 1 or 0.8 or something like that, and our graphene ones can take well into six and seven and it was uh, actually the the engineers were joking and saying they were laughing at two or three and now they're seeing six or seven going in and out it's pretty remarkable uh we're talking about you know your tesla car or like electric car charging in you know uh fully charging in 
a few minutes, uh, maybe five minutes or less. Uh, so this is a real live graphene battery, real live. This is, this is no joke. This is a real cell, a real battery. It is very remarkable, and this is another one. I just haven't ever opened these up. So, and if I can stammer on more and more and more and carry it on, you know, it is what it is. But there you go, true graphene cells. Thanks a lot. Bye.